Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys all the products I use hair care wise because I noticed I got a lot, a lot of questions on my Revlon review video what products I use because I was going too fast in the video so I apologize for that. I didn't know you guys would want to see the products prior to my hot tools. So this video is going to be all about the products I use, my staple products, and how to use them. So keep watching and we will jump right in. Okay so I'm going to start from when I am in the shower um, just because I think that's like the first step of my hair care. So. When I had blonde hair, I used a uh, purple shampoo. And that purple shampoo is super, super strong. Um, smells like candy. Well, I think it smells like Fruit Loops. I don't know. Um, but it works. And I've, I've used so many different purple shampoos that don't work. And it was just like, what's the point of me spending my money on this? But I think it has that lightning complex to it. So it, it works and it, I think it's, yeah, it has extra strength. So this one is called Blonde Brilliance. Looks like this. I always got this from Sally's. You can't get it at Walmart or Shoppers Drug Mart or wherever you guys are from. It's not at those like normal stores. It's at a beauty store. So I'm sure you could probably get it at a salon near you. I'm not too sure, but it works. And if you leave it in your hair too long, your blonde can turn white. Or almost purple too like depending on how long so yeah this is it extra strength no parabens or sulfates it's for cool blondes to help your hair stay like that cool tone um, and yeah it's a toner basically so it's a great shampoo super super dark I don't know if you can see it um, smells like smells great so I don't think it was too expensive I'll try and link it down below for you guys it also has a conditioner I don't know why I never used the conditioner I really don't know why I didn't. I think I just had like a bunch of conditioners left at my house and I just used a normal conditioner. Um, so yeah, that's the shampoo for when I was blonde. And I would use just any normal conditioner or I would do this once a week. So it's Moroccan oil mask. It's, it's great. Moroccan oil smells amazing. I'm sure you all know. I will be sure to be slower in this video for you guys. No fast forwarding. And I think you can get this at Walmart, Shoppers Drug Mart, Ulta, Walgreens. I don't know. No clue, guys. No clue. Okay, so now that I'm brunette and I don't need blonde shampoo, I use this clean apple cider shampoo and conditioner. Sulfate free. What else is it? Eco friendly. 96% plant ingredients. It smells. I love apple scented anything. It smells so good. So, yeah, that's what I use right now. That's for the shower. When I have the conditioner in my hair, I don't like to just rinse it out right away. I leave it in for maybe a few minutes while I shave my legs or um, wash my body or whatever. So when the mask is in my hair, I will use my detangling shower brush. That's what it looks like. That's the company. You can get these anywhere. It doesn't have to be the same company. This one's Precision Beauty. I got it from Winners. Yeah, so it kind of just like blend through all of the conditioner and uh, make sure it's all soaked in, and then I'll rinse it out. So then when I get out of the shower, prior to any hot tool use, I a million percent use my Kevin Murphy Staying Alive Leave-In Treatment. It works as a detangler and kind of a conditioner at the same time. That's what it looks like. A little spray bottle, and this one was $28 Canadian. It smells amazing. It's my favorite. I'm like running low. I gotta go pick it up. I get this at my salon or one of my salons. So um, I'm not really sure where you can get Kevin Murphy. Obviously online, I'm sure, on Amazon, all that stuff. So it's the Staying Alive Leave-In Treatment. Again, all of these products will be listed below or linked below depending on where I can find them for you guys. So I will do my best with that. Second product after the shower is Damage Remedy by Aveda. Daily hair repair. It's I think a heat protector. This is what it looks like. You shake well, work a small amount of product into hands, apply it through damp hair, and comb to distribute. Do not rinse. So none of these are rinsing products other than the shampoo that I showed you. So I use this, I use this, and then the third product is Kevin Murphy again, which guys, I think Kevin Murphy smells like heaven. Like, kind of smells like baby powder, but perfume-like not it's very subtle not strong but it's so good um if you've smelt the perfume the one by dolce and gabbana 
kind of similar to that. If you like that, you'll love this. I'm so in love. So this is again, another Kevin Murphy. This is leave-in repair, nourishing leave-in treatment. And then I will use a heat protector. I use like a Tresemme. I use literally any heat protector. This is more, I think, a leave-in conditioner and this is more of a protector, I think. So yeah, so these are my three main products and then a heat protector. And then when I'm styling my hair after the hot tools are used, I will use my Dove hairspray. I always get level four. I don't know if you can see that. Pax Cool hairspray. Again, it smells like baby powder. I think I just have like a baby powder addiction. I don't know what it is. So yeah, those are all my products that I use in my hair pretty much on a daily basis. Every time I shower, every time my hair is wet, those are my go-tos. I will link everything down below as best as I can. If not, they will be listed. You can go on Amazon. You can find them on the actual Aveda and Kevin Murphy websites. So you guys were also asking what hair cut I get when I go to my hairdresser. I normally just say deep bangs and layers. That's all I say. I, that's, I've said that since I was, I have no clue how old. A young teen so I hope that helps all hairdressers are different they all have their own techniques like you got to just be specific I would suggest bringing in a picture um, some hairstylists like seeing the end result of what you want and some just don't really care to look at a picture so it really depends on your stylist you can just screenshot a part of the video that you want like feel free to do that um, again it depends on your stylist so just do your best to find a picture. I, I always push to show them a picture that I want so that they can actually visualize what I want. But yeah, that's what my haircut is. What else did you guys ask me? Oh, my hair color. What number um, my hair dye is. My hair, yeah. Um, I think it's a four or a five or a blend of both. Um, I'm not too sure. I'm gonna have to ask my girl. But I think it's a four and a five mixed or more of like a four and less of a five or something. Um, it is a little faded now. I normally just try and match my roots, which is like a pretty dark brown. Um, but I know for sure it's not darker than a five. So hopefully this helps you guys. I tried my best to answer all your questions. I'm sorry again that the video was like sped through and you couldn't read the products. Um, but I know now you guys want to know what exactly I'm using. So yeah, any questions, any um, video requests, make sure you're following me on Twitter, Instagram. You can just tweet at me and I'll get your questions and stuff. But for Instagram, that's where I'll be posting updates. So it's always good to follow me on there. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope that this video answered your questions. Um, if you have any more questions, again, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I will do my best to answer all of them. And also make sure you're subscribed to this channel and hit that notification bell to get notified every time I upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. My hair is just, it just looks horrid. Like what is that?